and welcome back to the channel and in this video and the next video I'm going to take a detailed look at IAM Road Smart's Masters program I've had a lot of questions about this especially since I did the uh, the series of videos on how to pass an advanced bike test people asking how different is the IAM advanced test from the Masters what else is expected what's different so I'm going to do a two-part series on Masters and explain it all to you and then give you a demonstration. So in the first video, I'm going to explain exactly what the Masters is all about, how it works, what's involved. And in the second video, I'm going to give you a demonstration ride at Masters level. So that you can see me putting into practice exactly what is required to pass the Masters. I've already done a similar video, a similar series of videos to this, covering the Masters program in the car. And a lot of the principles are exactly the same. I'll put a link in the description below. You can go have a look at those videos as well if you like. But let's start by explaining exactly what IAM's Masters Programme is. So IAM Road Smart, a road safety charity in the UK. One of two road safety charities that do advanced driving tests and riding tests. The other being ROSPA, the Royal Society for the Prevention of Accidents. But this is all about IAM. So, IAM a few years ago decided they wanted to introduce a harder, more comprehensive advanced driving and riding test. And that's what became the Masters programme. So in order to enrol on Masters, you have to be a full IAM member. Now to be a full IAM member, you have to either have passed an advanced bike test with IAM Road Smart or have a qualifying exemption which will be a riding qualification from one of the UK police forces standard or advanced police riding qualification but in most cases most people who undertake the masters are not ex-police most people have come through the civilian advanced rider training they've passed their IAM advanced bike test you don't have to have achieved a first so don't think that you have to have achieved a first. When I did my first advanced bike test, I didn't get a first, but I passed. And that qualified me to, uh, to further down the line, go do my, my masters. So let's define what the masters is and what they're looking at. <clears throat> and and let's, let's kill one myth right at the start of this. And that myth is that there's a new set of skills that you need to learn to pass your masters test. There isn't. The skills that you've learnt for your advanced riding test, all those principles that I've outlined in my series about how to pass an advanced bike test, all that stuff, is no different for the Masters. No different at all. So application of the system of bike control, for example, observations, planning, cornering, overtaking, steering, changing gear, all the stuff that you've learnt for your advanced bike test is exactly the same on the masters there are no new skills for you to learn the difference is that the masters is a longer test and they are looking for better consistency throughout the ride throughout the test you've got to be consistently good all the time and there is more emphasis on three elements and those three elements are progress cornering and overtaking the test differs from your original, ordinary advanced bike test in several ways. First of all, it will be conducted by an Area Service Delivery Manager, an ASDM. That's one of the members of staff, the managers employed by the IAM. I'm an examiner, a normal voluntary examiner for the IAM. I do it on a voluntary basis. And the ASDMs manage the voluntary examiners, manage standards look after the local groups, all that kind of stuff. So it'll be an ASDM who carries out the test. And the test itself will be carried out away from where you normally ride. So probably on roads that you're not familiar with, that you don't know very well, so that, that ASDM gets a, a real honest view of your abilities 
on a on a series of rolls that you previously didn't know very well. And the test itself, uh, it's running very similar way to the advanced bike test. It's longer, it's 90 minutes long, approximately 90 minutes, you can never guarantee the time of it. And your examiner, the ASDM, is looking for consistent application of all the principles of advanced riding. Consistency is really important. You'll know from previous videos of mine that as examiners we're a bit forgiving of little mistakes here and there that we're looking for an overall picture throughout the ride not just oh, I made a little fluff there he made a little bit of a cock up there well it's a bit different on the masters the examiners are much less forgiving you've got to be on the ball you've got to be absolutely on your top game to pass a masters and you've got to maintain that standard for, for at least that 90 minutes there's three outcomes you can get from your masters test Obviously the first outcome is you can fail, you've not reached the required standard, that doesn't mean you're not advanced standard, it means you've not consistently met that master standard throughout the ride. Second result is you can pass and achieve the master standard. And the third result, if you do really well, is you'll get a distinction. Now ordinarily to get a distinction you're looking to score one in every area on that test sheet. I think they might allow you one or two twos in certain areas. But if you can get a distinction then you're in that very rarefied atmosphere where only a small number of other riders and candidates have passed to that level and achieved that level. So why would you want to do the master's test? It's a good question. Why would you? For a lot of people achieving a pass at advanced level is a really good achievement and as much as you might ever want to achieve. However, there are some of us, aren't there, who continually strive to get better and the master's I suppose is a recognition that there's always more to learn, that you can always be better than you are, that you can always continue to improve. So if you can pass at master's level, it's another step up the ladder in becoming a better, a consistently better rider. Now if you're interested, you want to uh, enrol on the master's program, remember first of all you've got to be a full member of the IM, i.e. you've got to have passed an advanced test or qualified through an exemption. But then what happens is you contact the IAM, you pay a fee, I'm not quite sure how much it is at the moment, but I'll put a link in the description below to the IAM's Masters webpage. So you can go and have a look and you can contact them, make further inquiries. And what they'll do is you don't just buy the test, uh, you buy a package which includes being allocated a Masters mentor from your local IAM group. And you get a certain number of sessions with that mentor, one-to-one. -one. Uh, they've been through a special training programme so that they can best help you achieve master's standard. They'll work with you on a one-to-one -one basis, they'll go out with you and help you to work on your riding and work on the consistency. In hey, Montego, look at that. Is that the last one left? Montego Estate. I rolled a Montego into a field I didn't actually, I wasn't driving, I was the passenger. But the driver rolled a Montego into an Estate once, it was a police car, an unmarked police car. <laughs> Everybody walks away okay. Montego didn't look much different afterwards to be fair. So yeah, you buy this package from the IAM, you get a number of training sessions with your master's mentor, and then you get an appointment for your test. And you go meet your examiner, your ASDM, somewhere away from where you live, like I say, so that you're not familiar with the roles that you're riding on. And they just want to see a really good advanced level ride that's consistently good all the way through. So to give you an idea of what that means, what I'm going to do, those of you that are familiar with the roads in this area, well no, I'm heading towards the Heartside Pass, I'm going to give you a demonstration of a Masters level ride. I did my Masters a few years ago, I achieved a distinction that allowed me to qualify as an examiner for the IM on bikes. And I also coach people 
up to master's standard. I'm not a master's mentor, I don't do observing with the IAM because I'm a, an examiner. But I do carry out master's mentoring for people who want it, if you're interested in that. A bit of coaching up to master's standard. Drop me a line through the website, revslocal.com. But yeah, in the next video I'm going to give you a demonstration ride at master's level. So if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel. But for now, thanks for watching. Hope you've learned something from this, hope you gained something. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you next time.